Hello oh guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix stuck at 60 FPS on Fortnite. This tutorial will be quick and simple, just make sure to subscribe to this channel and leave a like on this video if you will find this guide useful. Now there's a few simple steps you need to do in order to fi fix this. First of all, you want to go ahead on Fortnite settings and on Fortnite settings you will see your frame rate here and your vsync here. So vsync needs to be turned off and frame rate limit. You want to make sure it is on the highest as your monitor. So for example, most of good monitors are 240 at least. So you want to make sure to make it to 240. For me, it's only that much, I believe. So you want to make sure it's on the highest level for your monitor. Now, after you've done with that, if that still didn't fix the problem, then you want to go ahead and turn this off. Now, what you want to do is go ahead on your uh, Windows search bar and write down display settings. This is if you are on PC, of course. And on display settings, you want to go ahead, scroll down until you will see advanced display right there. Once you are here, you want to choose which display you want to, you are playing on basically. And if, for example, I'm playing on this one, uh, then you want to choose the highest available refresh rate. As you can see, this is the highest they can offer for me. And on this one, it's 144. So that's basically it on this one. Uh, if that still didn't, didn't fix the problem for you, you want to go to NVIDIA control panel and once you will be here on NVIDIA control panel display, click uh, change resolution and then scroll down and make sure the refresh rate is the highest for your monitor. Now, after that, you want to click manage 3D settings and go ahead and choose um, auto select here. And now you want to find max frame rate. So it's it can be either turned off or on and you want to choose the frame rate which is for your monitor. And the last thing would be to do vertical sync. Vertical sync needs to be turned off. And that's pretty much it. Once you will apply it, it should fix your problem. Now just go ahead, try to launch Fortnite and if this video was helpful, make sure to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.